Learn everything about Procreate with the ultimate guide, Procreate 4 Video Manual. Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave, a Dutch illustrator and animator. And I'm currently working on the ebook Procreate 4 Video Manual. And it's now available on iBooks as a pre order. And it will be released on December 6, 2017 but you now can pre-order it. And now there is a preview of the introduction and the first chapter that's going to be about the gallery. I'm just gonna show you a, a little excerpt of uh, chapter one, and that's about the gallery. Chapter one, gallery. When you open Procreate, you first see the gallery. There are four pieces of art already in the gallery. Tap on them and see what incredible art you can make with Procreate. To return to the gallery, tap on the word title in the upper left corner of the screen. In the upper right corner, you see four buttons. Select, import, photo, and a plus sign. Select. When you press on select, a blue line appears and under each artwork, you see a small circle. When you tap on the thumbnails, you can select multiple artworks. The little circles under each artwork turn blue, with a V inside, indicating that they are selected. When you want to deselect an artwork, press on it again. When you have selected multiple artworks, you have four options. Stack, Share, Duplicate and Delete. Stack. When you press on Stack, the four artworks are combined in one folder called Stack. To return to the main gallery, press on X in the upper right corner. Share. Press on Select again and select the stack you've just created. Now you have three options, Share, Duplicate and Delete. When you press on Share, you'll see a new window with Cannot Share This Artwork. You need to first open an artwork so that you can share it. This only applies to the default artworks that are in Procreate. In order to share these artworks, you first need to open them one by one. Tap on the stack and then on the first thumbnail. You have opened the artwork and you can now draw on it. When you want to go back to the gallery, press on Gallery in the upper left corner. Press on all the other artworks to open them up and press on Gallery to return to the stack. Repeat these steps for all the artworks that are in the stack. Press on the title of the stack to return to the main gallery. Press on Select again. Then press on the stack. When you now press the share button in the upper right corner, you will see a drop down menu called image format. Now you have six options to share your artwork. Procreate. Procreate is the work file of Procreate 4. When you share your artwork in this file format, you will save the layers and time lapse recordings of your artwork. This is great if you want to back up your files and work on them later. PSD. PSD is a Photoshop extension. All the layers that you've created in your artwork will be saved in separate layers. And you can open it up in Photoshop or any other photo app. PDF. PDF is a portable document format that's used for print or share your work and can be opened on all computers. When you press on PDF, you get a new window called PDF Options. Choose one of these options. Good quality creates the lowest quality and best quality the best quality of your artworks. Press on Export to export your PDF. You'll see a pop-up menu with all the share options. On top, you can share your PDF through AirDrop and share it with all your connected Apple products like your Mac, MacBook, iPhone, or other iPad. In the second section, you can share the PDF by message, mail, add to notes, copy to Dropbox, 
copy to iBooks, copy to iTunes and the More button. When you press on the More button, you see a new pop-up window. Here you can add other cloud services to your share options. If you have Dropbox or another cloud service on your iPad, you can now add it to the share list. Toggle it on. You can also rearrange the order of the list by pressing on the right of the section and drag the section up or down. Press on Done to return to the share screen. In the third section you can copy the PDF to your clipboard to open it in another app. Press on Print to print your PDF through Wi-Fi. Save to Dropbox to save the PDF to Dropbox. Save to Files to save the PDF to a file on your iPad. Save to iTunes to save it to your iTunes library. With the Send To button, you can add your PDF to a folder on your iPad or cloud service by first selecting the folder and then pressing on Add in the upper right corner. You've now created a PDF with multiple pages. The great thing about this ebook is that there are a lot of interactive images so that you can you know, easily learn all the aspects of Procreate 4. And you just need to tap on them and then you get a close-up of the interface of Procreate 4. Other uh, great feature is, is that you can search for words or items or certain features in Procreate 4 and that you can easily find them. So when you're looking for something specific, you can just look it up in the ebook. The preview you can download for free and I'll leave a link in the description box down below or you can press on the i and then you go straight to iBooks. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!